In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the trailing P-E ratio and the forward P-E ratio. So let's start with this example problem. The earnings per share for company XYZ is $4.25. And next year's estimated EPS value is $5. The current share price of company XYZ is $34. What is the trailing P.E. ratio? So the trailing P.E. ratio can be calculated using this formula. It's equal to the current price of the stock divided by the EPS value. Now, TTM stands for trailing 12 months. So this is the EPS value over the previous 12 months. The current price of the stock is $34 and the EPS value is $4.25. So dividing those two numbers will give us a trailing P.E. ratio of 8. So this means that the price of the stock is 8 times earnings. Now let's move on to part B. Calculate the forward P.E. ratio. So the forward P.E. ratio is very similar to the trailing P.E. ratio. It's equal to the price of the stock divided by the earnings per share. But the EPS value that we'll use is going to be the estimated EPS value for next year, which is $5 in this case. So it's going to be $34 divided by $5. And so that's going to give us a P.E. ratio of 6.8. So the trailing P.E. ratio, it gives us the price to earnings ratio for the previous 12 months, whereas the Ford P.E. ratio gives us the price to earnings ratio for the next 12 months. And so that's the difference. So you can think of this as the past value and this one as more of a, a future value. Now let's move on to the next problem. Number two, stock ABC is currently trading at $50. Using the quarterly EPS value shown below, calculate the trailing PE and forward PE ratios. So what we need to do is calculate the total EPS value for the year. So we need to add up these four quarterly EPS values. So 0.75 plus 0.60 plus 1.1 plus 0.95 gives us a total EPS value of $3.40. Now for the next 12 months, it's 82 cents plus 65 cents plus a dollar eight plus a dollar 15. So that gives us a total of three dollars and 70 cents. So the EPS trail in 12 months. So that's for last year. That's three dollars and 40 cents. And the EPS for the next year. That's going to be 370. So now that we have this information, we can calculate the trailing and forward P.E. ratios. So let's start with the trailing P.E. ratio. The trailing P.E. ratio is going to be the current price of the stock, which is $50, divided by the EPS for the last 12 months, which is $3.40, based on what we see here. So 50 divided by 3.4 gives us a trailing PE, let me say that again, a trailing PE ratio of 14.7. So that's the answer for the first part of the problem. Now to calculate the forward PE ratio, it's going to be the price of the stock, which is still $50, divided by the EPS value for the next 12 months. 
So that's the future EPS value, which is $3.70. And so that's going to be 13.5. So now you know how to calculate the trailing PE ratio and the forward PE ratio.